Hey guys, DK Dev here. Before I start this tutorial, I just want to thank all you guys. I'm almost at um, 2,300 subscribers. That is awesome. I couldn't do it without you guys. Also, while it's you can still do it, I'd really like you guys to check out one of my newer videos. It's a contest. You can uh, click right on the screen right about it now. It'll take you right to the video. You can make me an intro. You win. You can get some gift cards. That would be awesome. All right, back to this video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an icon for an iPhone app or for your picture on your YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys look at mine. This is what mine is. So I'm going to teach you how to make one just like this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is hopefully you guys have something like Adobe Photoshop or some other kind of photo editor. You can do it on almost anything, but I like to use Photoshop because it can give me some good background effects. So what we're going to do is go to File, New. And we're going to make ourselves a new file. All right, once you get here, we're going to go ahead and name it Icon. In my case, I'm just going to name it Icon 2 because I already have one, and I don't want to erase it. And we're going to make it a PNG file. And for width and height, it's going to be 512 by 512. Now, technically, you could do anything as long as it's a square. I like to do 512 by 512 because that's the actual thing for um, an actual iTunes app. That's the only thing we'll accept. So this is how I like to start mine. All right, now that it's open, you can go ahead and spread that out. And now we're going to go right over to this, which sometimes it looks like a paint bucket. That's how it would probably start off as. But you're going to go ahead and right-click that and go to Gradient Tool instead. That way we can get a better background effect. So go ahead and click the colors. And what we're going to do is we're going to spread this out so we can have a blend of two. So some good colors to choose from are around like a dark blue and a lighter blue. That makes a really nice blend. But then again, you can do whatever you want. So now once you have those colors chosen, go right up above the image and scroll it down to the bottom of the image. Get as straight as you can for the best effect. See, now I have a blending effect. Now that is perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move into a more simple um, image editor. I'm going to use um, one of my applications, Paintbrush. It's so much easier. It's better for typing for some reason. But so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and save that. Let's just go and save that as a JPEG. Okay. Okay, now that it's there, just go ahead and look at that. Alright, it's there. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up Paintbrush. Oh, that's an old banner. I've been working on that banner for my YouTube channel. Alright, go ahead and open. You can just go ahead and drag your file in. Now that you get it there, I don't know, I guess it's your choice. Just go ahead and widen this up. Okay. Now we can really do whatever we want. I'm going to go ahead and put in some text. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm a, I'm a cracked kind of guy. I mean, that's like my font. So I'm just going to go ahead and write Apple SDK Dev. But you guys can write whatever you want, of course. So make that nice and big, bigger, bigger. All right, that's good. Uh, I think that a nice yellow will look good. I don't know. Let's find it. Perfect. You know, you guys can really do whatever you want. I'm not going to do that much more. Yeah, I'm pretty much done here, but I mean, you guys could paste in an image, anything really, I guess. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get one of these. Make sure that is a black. And I guess you can go pretty much on the edge. I mean, it doesn't... Oh, whoops. Just make sure it's hollow. You can go ahead and get one of these. Make sure it's hollow. Go right on the edge. And just go like that. Because as you can see on most icons, they are pretty much the curved. It's not a direct square. So after we've done that, we're pretty much set. I mean, you guys can take your time and just cut it out so it's white around it. I'm not really going to waste my time because I figure you guys know how to do that. On uh, most photo editors, after you've um, made something white in your actual image, it'll um, come out transparent, which is probably what you want as your image. So after you've done that, just go ahead and save it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to like upload that to like your YouTube account, but I'll show you just in case. So go ahead and um, get to your YouTube page as soon as it loads up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate it 5, hit me up with some feedback. I love that stuff. Thanks for watching.